Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and OML Digitizing and today we are working in Hatch and we're talking about the cool new tool that they've added to the newest update and it is called the Knife Tool. Now I touched on it briefly on another uh, quick tip video but we're going to go into it just a little bit more today so I can show you everything that it does. Again, it is brilliant for lettering when you're converting true type fonts. Um, sometimes they don't work out that well. The best fonts are the built in fonts or the font packs that you buy from Hatch. But the true type font ones, I think Hatch does extremely well. So if you have problems with the fonts, you can slice them and make them look a lot better. But we're gonna do a different application today. So let's go to digitize and let's just make a nice rectangle in my hoop. So I just want digitize rectangle square and I'm just pulling it out and I'm gonna click and it's done. So let's go to select and there it is, my perfect square, nothing fancy. Now let's go to edit objects and let's pick up that knife. So what can you do with it? Well, you can cut pieces out and I'm just left click, left click, enter. And it doesn't look like it did anything, but if you look over here on the resequence, it in fact did. And you click over here and look, I have a piece that I cut out. Excellent, absolutely excellent. Let's do that again, but do it a little bit differently. You can do more points on it, click, click, click if you want that kind of a shape taken out and go to select and you can see it did it again click off and you can move your piece now that is really cool to make a perfect separation like that i absolutely love it so you can take a simple square and you can do so many things with it now the other really cool thing is it doesn't have to be straight lines you can right click right click right click and you can make a curve. The possibilities are absolutely endless with this. You can do any shape out of one shape and you can make really cool designs like this. Look at this. Now this would be great for just about anything because it still is a square. You can still see the square and it's all cut out. And what it does is it makes this space absolutely perfect it's all uniform it's nice this one looks even better if you wanted to cut out some zigzags from this square that is how you do it there are many things we can do with this knife i am having a blast with it so let's cut and i'm left kick clicking um let's cut a zigzag kind of weird shape out of this it doesn't even matter hit enter and select and then we can pull this, whoops, you have to click off and pull this down. I'm thinking Easter eggs, all sorts of designs, jazzy designs. So another thing you can do with the knife tool is you can, and you have to be a little bit careful doing it, but it will work. So we're gonna do a letter, we can use it with lettering in a different way. So let's do OML, just OML. And we're going to make that a little bit bigger so we have something to work with. Now, right now with these letters, they are uh, obviously too big. Let's go stitching. Whoops. Let's go fill. And we're just going to make them a tatami. So then it looks much better. Thank you. Um, maybe not black. Why don't we change the color to maybe orange? I think that'll work. All right, so we have our lettering here and you have to be careful because right now you can see over here in the object type that it is a lettering and it has all the codes and everything so it works as a letter. So if you work with this and do different things, you can go back and change the lettering. But what we're gonna do is take the knife and we're gonna click here and we're gonna follow this line, the center line, click here, press enter. And now what we've done is that we have split the letters in half. So we can move it up to say that point. I prefer to do them separately just so I can place them. You could also grab them all at once, I guess, if you wanted to. And you don't want to move them over a little bit more. But that is a quick and easy way to make split lettering. However, please notice on the side here that it is no longer a letter. It's no longer 
uh, considered lettering. So now they're considered objects. So you can't go back and change the lettering and have it split. But that's okay. That's a quick and easy way to do split lettering. And you can put, for example, even if you move it up even more, embroidery. Whoops. And you can add that. It's almost like a really fancy name drop. And I actually really think that's cool how to do that. So that's how you can use the knife tool, a different application for it. Again, be careful, it gets kind of messy. So let's try one more thing that you can do with this awesome knife tool. Let's go to our My Designs, or did I do it here? I might have done it here. No, I didn't. Let's go back here. And we're going to pull up just a simple embroidery design. And if you wanted to make this one, me and my mouse, I tell you, double click, bring it open. So if you wanted to take a simple design, now this one comes with, um, it's a really cute design and it comes with hatch. If you wanted to take a really simple design and you have to be careful because there's usually a lot of layers and a lot of details. Let's say you wanted to do a name drop in here. We're just gonna slice this like this, press enter. Same thing that we were doing. And we, it's harder to see because before we did it with a simple, a simple design. You can select it or you can just move it. And look what you can do here. Move it right back to where you had it if you can't select it. And we've split an embroidery design. Now remember, this is an EMB design, so we have total stitch control. I'm not sure how well it's going to work on anything else, but you can use your grid lines to sort it out. It has to be over a little bit more, but you can select and control select and you can move the whole thing just like that, just over a little bit more. And look, you could put a name drop in there. So those are some of the things that you can do with this awesome knife tool. Um, you can create name drops, you can split different things, and it works extremely well. The only thing is if it has a lot of layers and you split it, you gotta remember to pick up all the layers to move it. But so far, so good, absolutely loving it. So thanks everyone for watching. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel to let me know that you want more videos just like this. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.